You know, companies have a lot of information regarding them out there on the web. Files like doc files, spreadsheets, images, PDFs. And wouldn't it be great if we could use a tool that could go out, find documents, download them, sort through them, and then create a report with the metadata regarding that information. Well, there's a quick and very easy utility called Metagoofle that does exactly that. This tool, Metagoofle, is absolutely fantastic as it can help us do reconnaissance and footprinting about a target company. The tool assists us by using Google search based on the target company regarding the domain, and then it's going to download documents, and we can specify the extensions of the types of files that we want to look for and download. And then not only does it download the files for us, but it also generates a nice, beautiful report with what it found. In Kali Linux, let's open up a shell and we'll bring that full screen. And let's go ahead and see if Metagoofle is actually installed on this system by default. So we'll type in Metagoofle and it says not found. So no problem, let's go ahead and get it. We're going to use the apt-get command space, the keyword install, and then we'll specify Metagoofle. And that's M-E-T-A-G-O-O-F-I-L. And we'll press enter. And that'll take just a few minutes to go ahead and download and install it. And through the magic of editing, that install is now done. And let's go ahead and just type in meta goofle and press enter. And that's going to give us the options that we can use as part of meta goofle. So here are the options specifying what domain to look for, the file types we want to search for, the limit regarding the results, how many files to actually download, then the working directory we want to put them in. And there's even examples right here. So let's go ahead and use the example. So I'm going to select this example right here. I'm going to right click copy and then go ahead and right click and paste. And I'm going to change one thing. I'm going to take off the .py extension because I don't need it here on my Kali Linux box. So Metagoofle is going to use the domain of apple.com and it's going to be looking for the file types of doc and PDF. We're going to limit the result search to 200 and that is the default. The dash n is the number of files to download. We're going to download 50 and the dash o is the folder, the directory where we're going to put the files and then the dash F is the HTML document that's going to give us a report about what it found. And I'm going to modify the output just a little bit. I don't need 50 documents. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just limit the download to five documents. And that'll be enough. So we'll go back out to the end and we'll press enter. And it's going to go out and do its search and download and create a report for us. It's that easy. So it's providing some of the information here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've faded out the list of users that it found based on those documents. And if we do an ls and press enter, here's the Apple Files folder. If we went into that folder, it would have the downloaded documents there. There's also the results.html that it created for us as well. So if we wanted to launch that. One way of doing that would be to go to the file system. We'll click on this file icon over here on the left. And we're in our home folder, which is the root folder where I was earlier. And there's our results.html. So we can simply double click on that to launch it. And here's the report of what it found. And that can be very useful to speed up the process of discovery and footprinting regarding a company using a tool like Metagoofle. So I'm glad you joined me in this nugget. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.